Hello all, welcome to C Programming Learning. In this video, we will understand how to print Rombus star pattern. For that, let's start with an empty file. First of all, I will write down my header file hash include spdio.h. Then I will start with the integer main function. So here inside integer main function, I am going to declare one integer that is integer n. Today we are printing rhombus of star asterisk signs. And then I will ask the user by using a printf statement, I will ask to enter the number of rows. That means how much number of rows would you like to have in the rhombus. So enter the number of rows. So here I have asked the user with a semicolon. By using scanf function, we are going to take the value which is uh, taken given by the user and we are going to allocate that to this n by using ampersand n and a percentage deformat specifier for nothing but integers. Now, I am going to start with the for loop. So, inside for loop, I will start with integer i. So, here also I have declared integer i in line of for loop. So, for integer i equals to First of all, I'll write down n. Here I'm starting with n, and then I'm going to write down integer i will be greater than or equals to 1. See, this is my condition, and then i minus minus. So I am going in a reverse pattern. And then after that, I will open one more for loop for j. So here also I am declaring my j in line with the for loop syntax integer j equals to 1 j will be less than or equals to i minus 1 and j plus plus updation of j then i am printing first of all a leading space printf and inside that i am just printing one space and then i am going to use one more integer for integer k what happens for, for the printing programs we have to use so many variables. So instead of printing or declaring at the front or at the top, let's declare it in, in line with the for functions. So that's why we will let, uh, got to know the correct meaning of that particular variable. So integer k equals to 1, integer k is less than or equal to n and k plus plus. And inside that, I am going to print my actual thing that is print f and which is nothing but the star. So, I am putting inside a asterisk sign and after that putting a semicolon. Then we have to go to the next line. So, I will write down one more print f statement that is nothing but slash n which is going to further control program control to the new line. And lastly, I will write down written 0. So, here I have declared only integer n and taking the number of rows from the user and after that I have used integer i, integer j, integer k according to the n that is the number of rows which is given by the user. So, here I have written my program. Now, it's time to save the file. So, save file as rhombus.c. So, I have saved my file by using this name. You can save as per your choice. Then let's build the file. If build finished with zero error, let's run this file. As, I have, as you can see, the number, uh, enter the number of rows line is keep being printed. So, let's go for six and click enter. So, as you can see, a six line rhombus is there. So, here this is the way where we will run it for one more time. And now I'll write down, uh, let's go for 10. As you can see, the rhombus size is increased to the number of rows as a 10. This way you can print a rhombus pattern of asterisk sign or star sign. I have used integer i, integer j and integer k. Keep a habit to uh, declare the variables in line when it comes to print any pattern on the C because then it will not uh, confuse you while using the same for nested for loops. I hope you understood today's program. Thank you.